Hello. So, I have a question for you. What frequency do you think our ancestors were vibing to? Listen up. That's it. The 110 hertz frequency. So there's this branch of science called archaeoacoustics, and it's actually a branch of archaeology where scientists go in and measure the sound qualities and frequencies of ancient sites, including the 6,000-year-old hypergeum in Malta, which is a beautiful underground chamber that just resonates the sound and frequency, as well as Newgrange in Ireland. And recently, I even saw a documentary where these scientists went into one of the chambers in the Pyramids of Giza, and it also registered at 110 hertz. So why 110 hertz, and why not 111? You may be asking that because you've probably seen a lot of videos or read a lot of things about it was the 111 hertz in these chambers. Sorry, hate to tell you this, but that's wrong. That's some of that little fake news going on out there. And let me bust the myth of why. In 2008, when this science came out, the tuning fork manufacturers were already making an 111 hertz tuning fork. And it's a wonderful tuning fork. It's really only one hertz off, but sometimes that one hertz can make all the difference, right? So what a lot of people did was, rather than jumping onto the market making a new tuning fork, they just tweaked the information out there. So a lot of people were buying into the 111. And it's a beautiful sound. It's a Sofagio frequency. I love it. And you'll get good results with that too. However, if you really want to zone in or tune in to what our ancients were listening to, to the frequencies that's resonating in these ancient sites, it is the 110 hertz. There's a whole lot of science on that and I have another video that goes into the exact scientific re report where they measured the brains of people listening to a variety of frequencies and what they saw was it was the 110 hertz that created this shift in the left and right hemispheres of the brain connecting the hemispheres of the brain, increasing the intuitive abilities and creative side of the right hemisphere, which is that creative intuitive side. So it got the prefrontal cortex and the left and right hemispheres kind of vibing together, right, by listening to that sound. So if you really want to tune in to the sound of 110 hertz, get the 110 hertz tuning forks and listen to it acoustically. Because let's face it, the ancients weren't listening with earbuds and headphones and electronic equipment. They were in the natural residence of the 110 hertz frequency, acoustic. So if you think about a guitar, right? When you just play that guitar and it's not plugged into anything, that's acoustic. If it's plugged into something, it's amplified by electricity. So the best way, the very best way to listen to sound frequency is to feel it and allow it go through your bones and through your body and, and through all the fluids in our body. And that is by putting it to your ear because at the ear we have all these meridian points that end there that represent everything in our body our ear our, our brain our cranial nerves everything's connected so when you listen to something acoustic you're not only listening but you're feeling and getting the vibration if you go to a live concert of your favorite band or rock star or pop star, isn't that more fun and more enjoyable? And don't you feel that energy and that music much better than listening to it in your earbuds? Same thing. So, the 110 fork is available on my website at lisaalexander.com and there I also list the scientific research that that actually demonstrates the 110. And I myself was very fortunate to study under this amazing, amazing professor at Columbia University who's an ethnomusicologist who has traveled all over the world and has been to these sites and also has measured the 110 hertz. He's usually the guy I go to when I need to bust a myth when my students and practitioners and clients are coming to me with something they saw out there on the internet. So do your research and if you really want to feel this, I would even suggest doing it in surround sound because isn't that better, right? One in each ear. There are a variety of ways to sound these forks and if you watch some of my videos, I'll teach you how to do that. Right now, I'm going to do it the way I always do it. Put it to your ears and you'll hear the sound and go into a peaceful meditation. Namaste. Enjoy. So if you like the information that I've shared with you in this video, please, please, please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know in the comments section. And please remember what your mother may have told you, at least what my mother did. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. 
Because we know whenever you throw out negativity to someone else, it'll just come right back to you tenfold. So don't do that to yourself or me. So please like, please subscribe, please follow, so you can get more tips and tricks on becoming your own guru.